What are we driving? Oh, that's right. That's right. It's the GLC. I think Mercedes wants their customers to be naughty. Just okay. a little naughty. Okay. Especially with the GLC 43. Well, we're starting the, with the it's, GLC. It's that AMG band that it makes is. the naughty. This is not the 300. This is the flavor up. And mm -hmm. it's not the big boy. Mm -hmm. It's the middle flavor. But I'm here to justify <laughs> the price and buying it. Okay. Because I was shocked to discover that it's not the bland flavor. It's not the, eh, you should get the either the low end and save money or get the really the big dog. You're watching Everyday Driver. We make a TV show, podcast, and YouTube channels dedicated to great cars, driving adventures, and helping you find a car you'll love. Subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a thing. There is okay. justification all right, all right. for this all day long, and I'm going okay. way too fast. Yeah, it's, which is easy in this car. Well, yeah. I was so naughty in the car that I got a speeding ticket. You did. You haven't had a speeding ticket in this because car. of this show in a while. It's been a while. Pay to play. You got, you got tagged in this car. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah, she's fast. Let's start with power. 385 horsepower. by turbo Not twin turbo. Bike <laughs> turbo. V6. You know the last time I heard bike turbo? Maserati. Maserati. That was not a that's, good thing, man. That's why I like it. It was not a good thing, that's man. That's why yeah. I like it so much. Uh -huh. Okay, sure. So it's got way more power than you think. It doesn't sound like a lot. I mean, it sounds yeah. like some. Roughly 385 horsepower and torque. It's like 385 horsepower, 380 torque. They put bigger turbos on it. Uh, bigger turbos. Everything's better with bigger turbos, right? Yes. And to be honest, of all the Formula One manufacturers, the OEMs, yeah. there is very little trickle down from racing to road cars. Mm -hmm. But I do feel like Mercedes is one of the few. What other company is advertising Drag race mode. Drag race mode on their website. Mm. This car does indeed have drag race mode. Wait, it's which, got track pace. Uh, I have to explain track pace to you. But, but honestly, on your SUV, before you even go into what they are, let me also put it in this perspective. This is, this feels to drive like it's between the Macan and Cayenne in size, but if you mm. look it up, it's almost exactly the Macan. Okay, almost so it is pretty close to the, inch okay. the okay. Macan. Gotcha. The interesting thing is this has a three inch longer wheelbase, and we'll come back to that. Okay. Power wise, zero to 60 wise, it is almost a clone of the Macan GTS. Think of the Mercedes GT. The coupe, just the regular Mercedes AMG yeah, GT. Yeah, awesome. We love it, yeah. That V8 uh -huh. is available in the top trim level of this smallish SUV. Customers love their SUVs. This is the best-selling car of all the Mercedes products. Drag mode, drag race mode. It it has it. So back off that a little, figure out what'll kill you, and back it off, off a little bit. Yes. You save some money. Yes. This is $70,000, and you do want the mm. parking package. You want the multimedia package. You do want the exhaust for $1,250. Do you? You uh, do. Oh, okay. because uh, in Sport Plus, on full crackly downshift, oh. But, I, but again, bam, 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 bam. Yes, but it's Fantastic. the five-seat family SUV. It's the That's the best SUV. part about it. When you look in the back seat, uh -huh. That looks pretty good. And I sat back there, and it's really good. Way better than I thought. The headspace, you, you might have an inch on it's, me as far as torso. It's, it's not impressed. bad. It's not bad. There's I, great space up here. Back to the wheelbase thing. This Amazing. is a three-inch longer wheelbase than the Macan, and where you feel that is the back seat. You do, you do. The Macan back seat is tighter than this. Even yeah. though the cargo is similar, the okay. Macan back seat is tighter. Open the cargo space. Yeah. Looks great. Mm -hmm. Everybody looks at the size, the general size, and thinks, Huh, how many, what can I put how many in days there? Yep. does that represent? Yep. Or, you know, weekend at the lake or wherever you're going. Uh huh. It looks fantastic, to be honest. Ah, my God. Ah, my God. Ah, my God. I'm telling you. It's going to be the Valley power, Girl mode. <laughs> it could be. The Mercedes Valley Girl. They I, advertise my, my parents it. bought it for me, and it I probably, wanted the big one, but they bought me the 43. But we had to save some money, so we yeah. backed it off. Uh. So this track pace mode, in conjunction with Formula One, again, I don't know what exactly is trickle down the badge <laughs> maybe the badge is trickle down actually they probably don't maybe. even use these badges because the, they're too heavy they're too heavy anyway yeah but get this this track pace mode it's not very much money it's part of your infotainment system mm -hmm. and it actually provides telemetry to your smartphone app for track laps and actual your, your own laps your own race course that you can set up in addition to other pre-programmed tracks around the world. The so Nürburgring go, is programmed into this thing. You can go thing. autocross your, your GLC with the fam. Yes. I love and it. And then you go to Sport Plus, and that brings us to the handling. I was shocked at how good this is. I like it a lot. This is a 
4,200 pound car and I didn't expect it to be as light on its feet and track and have as much car information as it does. It does Astounding. rotate really well. It is actually lighter than the Macan if you want to go there. No kidding. It does rotate very well. They've done a good job of, of taking, let's be honest, this is not the large SUV world, okay? No, if you think about no. it compared to even my Cayenne that my wife loves, because yeah. I, I wanted her to drive, drive around in this, ride around in this, and she was like, this is a lot lower, and she's right, compared to so like, funny, normal. She, she doesn't like low. She, yeah, exactly. Low is bad. <laughs> exactly. So compared to normal SUVs, this, you're sitting almost in car place. This is almost hatchback land as far as how far off the ground you are. Almost, <laughs> almost. But again, what we're really making yeah. is we're really making an SUV and so it's it's that weird midsize that I struggle with so much but it is a place to get car like dynamics out of your SUV shape and ride height and that isn't a thing they've done here yeah. just like Porsche did with the Macan. Sport so you use this dynamic selector down here you can select it with the rotary dial down yep. here but yep. you can actually on the steering wheel do the same thing. Yep. So if you go to Sport Plus and then you push this little M button for manual with gears on it mm -hmm. of course because you want to do it yourself. There we go. Oh. Now it doesn't pin you back. I mean, it's still 4,200 pounds and it's yeah. not, I mean, it's a lot of horsepower, but it's not that much. But yeah. I did get a speeding ticket. It, it's plenty quick. And oh, that crackly, oh. <laughs> Here, I'll slow down. Oh, no. In your I... SUV, in your family SUV. Yeah, which you think is a great thing, and I'm starting to question, like, what, really? Do Fantastic. we need this? Fantastic. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm telling you, with all these little tips and tricks and little things buried in the AMG version, yeah. this is like half naughty. It's the 43. It is. It is. It's not yeah. the full naughty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's because again, you can get that four liter V8. You can. You in can. this little SUV. You're gonna pay a lot more. 84 for more horsepower. <laughs> Even faster. Yeah. With AMG, you cannot bring the the mindset or headspace of need. The word need <laughs> when it comes to this. There's no equal sign there. Irrelevant. Yes. We're not talking about need. No, 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 no. That's not what sells cars, and that's certainly not what sells AMGs and Mercedes right. and why right. I love yep. them so much. And to be honest, this is creeping in over my Porsche love. What? A Whoa. Lot. Whoa, hang on. Hang from on. Macan, we, need, Macan. we need to rewind Macan. this, and we almost need to play that again. To be honest, this is creeping in over my Porsche love. Really? Over the Macan, certainly. I would take this over the Macan in a heartbeat. Seriously? In a heartbeat. Interesting. I, okay. I right. like this. I will it does that feel minute, dynamic. But okay. I don't think the Macan feels as good as this. Okay. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. That was some burnt hydrocarbons back there. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, I mean, oh. look, impressive, fantastic. I have to also add useless. I just, I. That's I, why need mm -hmm. is no longer used okay. in conjunction okay. with AMG. It All is right. not. Fair. You Fair. buy it because you want it. Yes. Otherwise, buy the yes. 300. Just buy the GLC 300. Yes. Fine. Okay. Fair. Shopping. Fair. Get a Mercedes. Yeah. It's we luxurious. Got enough power. Yeah, it's a nice place to be. Wah, wah. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. But come on. <laughs> this is brilliant. Well, you are getting you are getting a lot of performance and a lot of luxury for your seventy thousand dollars. Now, seventy thousand dollars on one a level. Lot. That's not cheap at all. I'm not going to pretend that that's cheap. But that's also not uncommon for a family to spend on their SUV. Well, Honestly, nowadays, it's, it's yeah. really not. Well, you go get an Escalade or you know something like that, you're spending every bit of 70, 80 grand. Well, maybe 100, but the, of course then you were gonna talk about seven seats and more hauling, which this yeah. doesn't do. But a lot yeah. of people overbuy SUVs as far as amount of capability in space. They also do it in performance. This is in the performance category. Definitely overbought in that regard. Look at this. You get a flat bottom steering wheel, which is what you want. And the sides, <laughs> they're just gently flat right where your hands go. And Mercedes is thinking of us. They're just, it just is that little hint towards, you know, you want to destroy your license again. You are you so excited about to. this car. I it's cracking me like up. I like it. The stance, what Mercedes has done with the styling, the GLC. There's no sharp, fine lines, fine character mm -hmm. line. They've done it all with surface, and they've managed their highlights everywhere around the mm -hmm. car. That's what Mercedes is doing. That's why I think they're so successful. The prior generation, the GLK, I didn't like. That was sure. what came before. You're right. That's a good it point. Was Mercedes, That's a very good point. Yeah. We're in teenage years. We're, don't, we're not sure what we're doing. We're like, you know, the last weird hair years. and braces and zits. And <laughs> the last That was the GLK. That's changed a lot for Mercedes. This style. is yeah. phenomenal. It's very good. Ties into the interior. They're all about their app, their MBUX app. Mm -hmm. It actually actually is brilliant and the interior is clean. It's gonna really look good for a long time. There's just nice mm -hmm. materials everywhere. But then you look at the steering wheel and you think, we're, 
are we going to do something? Are, where are we going? What are we going to do? What can this car do? Again, it's not the most blindingly quick thing ever, but no. it's just half, half spice, half goodness. It's it's a lot of power and a lot of performance for your small five-seat family SUV. Really? Big time. You need to drive this. I'm going to, yes. I do have a question for you, though. Okay. Because interior-wise, these are the same shapes, parts, steering wheel, etc., that Mercedes is putting on most of their lineup. Okay. You've come down on BMW for doing that. Yes, but they have decided on their own theme, and I do appreciate BMW's new use and owning that trapezoid, hexagonal, sure. octagon yeah, yeah. shape. Okay. They have made it theirs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's better on their new stuff. Okay. The prior generation of everything, it was a lather, rinse, repeat. Although I don't feel like it on here because okay. of, look at the screen. The other cars we like have the entire screen there, with no there hood. It's just different one screens. You're right. Like thing. the A, so the, the the a we drove. There, yeah. mm -hmm. okay. But not the exact part. So this okay. is, you can tell it's not the most expensive. It's not going to be the S Class. It's not even the True. CLA 220 that we drove that had that entire Which long was very cool. Screen. looked like two pads next to each other. It was so very it's cool, different. Yeah. But again, the shapes are there, mm -hmm. but they have differentiated a little bit. We've got these two little non modules on the steering wheel. One of them you already talked about. I'm actually going to go back to comfort because I have a point to make. Okay. But you've also got an individual. You decide you like the comfort steering and the sport yeah, throttle response. You can, you can do it. all of that, it's which great. is great. The inbox system that Mercedes is doing, I have to go ahead and say it, is killer. Doesn't matter which yeah. car we found in. Yeah. yeah. It's phenomenal. Well, it it's is intuitive. Incredibly as far as intuitive. Picking things up and, and you know swiping and where you need to mm -hmm. go and find information. Yep. You think, all right, I have to learn a brand new UX and dive in. It's honestly one of the better ones that I've found. And also the I'm other impressed. thing that that is so subtle, but I think is really impressive, and you've seen it when you use the nav on this, is they do overlays. Yeah. When you come to an intersection, they show you that street view and they put an overlay with an arrow that points you the road you want to go to. Now, I'm not a guy that uses nav much. Sure. But if sure. you want nav, that is, I hate to say it this way, almost foolproof. Because that, those you're are looking marks. at the picture going, oh, I got to go that way. You get, those. Look, we all have them. Those confusing yeah. intersections in your life where you're like, what does the... And, I mean, Utah, is that a metaphor for something? Utah is that like has, a different age or decade Have you reached life? a confusing intersection in your life? <laughs> exactly. At Mercedes, we can... No. Anyway. We've got the car for you. We've yeah. got so many lineups. There's a coupe version of this, by the way, just but, in case. But in, in, in Utah, we have a few intersections that actually cross. Instead of doing boxes, they actually yeah. cross in an X. Yeah. This solves that. I, you have That's no amazing. idea how many people I've seen from out of state who are just like parked in the middle of the intersection going, I don't know where to go. You can't get that lost <laughs> with this system. So use your Tesla lever to put it in gear. Yes. I mean the Mercedes lever nice. Tesla buys. That's good. I like that. That's very again. good. I, I think they've paid attention so it's not just mm -hmm. a hollow tube with a button on the end. I started in comfort here for a specific reason. Okay. Yes, of course, you can look, I can change all the settings, I can make it my version, but when I see the word comfort, I want to feel that. I want to be surprised by how well the car, truck, I don't care, how okay. well it takes bumps. Okay. I, I'm not worried about it corning really well in comfort mode, but I own a Lotus Elise, and I am continually surprised by how often when driven at slow speeds, it rides better than some of the new cars we have. The Lotus. Okay. Okay? My point okay. here is this. This isn't nearly comfortable enough in comfort mode. It is still too stiff. Now, I realize we have the AMG flavor. I know that. I'm going to go to, to more aggressive versions here because, of course, it's yeah. where we need to be. At slow speeds in parking lots, you go over curbing or driveways or bumps in a parking lot. This does this with you. It just... Okay. And honestly, you're in comfort mode in a Mercedes that costs you $70,000. It should ride better. I love Sport Plus. I get when I'm in okay. Sport Plus, I want a hammer. I want the, the suspension to be stiff. I get it. I don't think this is comfortable enough, even as an AMG. Really? No, because I don't think I, so. I don't have that uh, qualification because it is an AMG. Yeah. And I think, I want to know that I'm driving something hot. Even in, in comfort mode, I want to know that there's the bones of something hot down here and I'm, I'm kind of more of an attention. That's what I feel like when I've got good handling and I've got good tight suspension, mm -hmm. it makes me feel like I'm more of a performance car and that's what I'm getting when I buy MG versus the regular old yeah, I, you know, GLC 300, which does not have that suspension. True. My question to you is, do you think, because we loved this system on the CLA 220 in Germany, the roads yeah. in Germany are phenomenal. 
Yeah. They're not in America. So do you think, because the roads in Germany are better, because we ranted and raved about how good the air suspension was yeah. in the CLA, from comfort in town to high speed on it the Autobahn. Great. And maybe we that was a German road thing. Maybe it, it was, but I'm, I'm asking. Maybe, but I'll go you one further. The Macan rides better. Okay, but I think this is more sporty. Now we did drive a Macan for yeah. television versus the old AMG 45, yep. okay? Yep. The little GLA guy, all right? And in that situation, there was a similar comparison there because the GLA, which honestly felt like a hot hatchback, but the GLA did feel more sporty all of the time than the Macan did. Yeah. And in that size, something about the GLA, where it was essentially just a hot hatch made by Mercedes, I didn't mind that it was as stiff as it was. I keep hmm. coming back to, this is the sporty family car. And there's a lot of times right. with family car, you want to be away from the world, you want to be defended from the world. I want my suspension to be soft. I want the kids to be quiet. Good luck there. I want the world to not invade. <laughs> not a okay? There that isn't a button for that, sadly. I keep searching. Bet Mercedes could charge a lot of money <laughs> they if they could, could figure that one out. They suddenly you hit a button, the kids are on mute back there. That'd be You're amazing. Saying, That'd be fantastic. $70,000 well spent. <laughs> you spend $150,000 you, you can do that. That'd be like a $50,000 option. The kid quiet mode. Like, done. Where is the break <laughs> I don't know that how button? How you off. did that, but boop. Break that button off. Yeah. This nine speed mm. transmission is really good, though I will also say this PDK is better in the Macan. The, the PDK, PDK is, is better. better. Nothing can touch a PDK. This is an, actually an automatic transmission. It's a nine speed. Nine speed, and it's good. It's, it is very it's good. good. You could convince me that it was a dual clutch. I agree. I, I agree. It, it has that, that kind of if feel. You yes. Told me there yes. was dual clutch. Mm -hmm. I could be convinced, but it's not. I am very impressed with this as a performance SUV. Okay. And I, but I think the average person that buys this is buying five seater. That is the upmarket version first, and performance as a bonus. Mm. I don't think a buyer is seeking out the GLC. 43, not the big 63, the 43, right, right. because they're looking for a performance SUV first. I think they were looking at the GLC and thought, what if I step up to that one? It's got more power and it's a little bit more angry. And they bought it for that reason. And yeah. I think that buyer is going to wish this road better. See, I don't want to, I don't want to, I'll buy the not AMG version to be plush, to be sure. AMG means sure. special, hardcore, ramped up. Don't spend more money thinking you'll get a cushier, plusher, more comfortable ride. Yeah. I don't I don't think that at all. Seats but are great. Handles surprisingly well. That rotation is really good. It, it, is it does surprising. feel related to I mean even to what that we loved about the GLA. It, it feels related to that where it just it almost convinces you it's not an SUV. Which is amazing. Which is very impressive. Yeah. Absolutely. And I do think because this is that medium ride height, it's not like SUV ride height. It's, it's just the it jacked falls, up yeah. hatchback yeah. thing. That yeah. helps as well. This is very fun to drive, which is something that we're always worried about. And it is paramount to what we do. Well, it better be at $70,000. Yes. Fortunately, it is. Yes, for sure. But back to the Macan. I think you could probably get this for cheaper than you can get a GTS. I think the Macan does the comfort thing better except it has smaller back seats. Yeah. I think the comfort yeah. ride is better in the Macan. I think it absorbs bumps better than this. This has a little bit more of a involving driver feel. Yeah. Not quite as good a gearbox as that Macan. I just, I, I, totally, I really totally. found that as the target. I think I'd take the Macan, but it seems clear to me you'd take this. I would, I That's would. That's interesting. The GLC Coupe version of this, I think, competes more against the Macan because of that laid back, okay, that back maybe, light, maybe. back yeah. hatch, it's kind of laid over like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But either way, I think this is very usable. The back seats, again, we're both surprisingly six good. Yes. He's got an inch taller torso. I think he has one extra vertebrae. Possibly, yes. But he's even comfortable back there. We're both very happy. You could do a road trip, and there is great cargo space. For a car this size, 4,200 pounds seems kind of heavy. It does not carry itself no. like that. This does not have the super wonder magic suspension that we we had on the GLS, where it reads the no. road and anticipates no. and has bouncy bounce mode and doesn't have all of those. It's like the step. That's all you wanted for it. Exactly. It's the step before that, but it is based on their air suspension. It does a yeah. really good job, especially yeah. in Sport Plus, of just keeping the car taut. It's not sloppy at all. I actually had one of those situations on the freeway where you get people that are confused and they're blocking various lanes and you kind of got to do frogger to get through oh, people. Oh yeah, sure. It was amazing to do that up here at altitude 
on a major freeway. I had four lanes to work with and I just froggered my way through a bunch of people. You could feel the rear differential sorting things out and this was just this surgical instrument. It was very impressive this was. doing that. Yes, That's absolutely. Awesome. I was incredibly That's impressed awesome. and I could feel the rear diff working and helping me out and my wife looked at me when I said that and went, what? But but I could, I could tell it was doing it. Yeah. Yet she was very impressed with just being here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you, again, you have to be. Yes. You should be. You should be. Kind of you should be. But we both noted that her Cayenne, which let's be honest, is also 10 years old at this point, rides sure. better than this. But the, but the performance is here is the trade off. I, I, I can see That's both what sides. I, like. I can see both sides. And, and to go AMG, I'm willing to let that slide. And, and okay. by no means is it rough in comfort mode. It's not like, oh my gosh, no. is there a better setting? It's not what it's like. I asked you if there was just... a better setting, though. <laughs> I don't think it needs it. Personally, I think it's awesome. And if I have an AMG, I want it to feel alert and upright okay. and right. on it all the time, even in comfort That's mode. That's what this should be for, though. I like Comfort that. mode should be just like, yeah, we're hanging. It's funny. I think I like a harder core ride these days more more often. Okay. Because you talk about ride quality and you want a, a better, more comfortable quality a yeah. lot. Yeah. And I'm kind of wanting something harder harder edged. So you need really? to sell your Cayman GTS and buy something more hardcore. I That's what I that do. means. I think I do. Yeah.